ordered. The chair has notice of a request for an emergency debate from the Honourable Member for Halifax, and I'll hear her now. Thank you, Mr. Speaker, for giving me the opportunity to speak about the urgent situation in the Arctic. Just last week, the National Snow and Ice Data Centre reported that the Arctic's ocean, Arctic Ocean's winter ice reached its annual maximum extent. Not only has this occurred earlier than normal, but it's hit an all-time low since satellite recording began in 1979. I'm asking today for an emergency debate on this issue, as we no longer have time to waste. The reasons are plentiful and warrant immediate action from parliamentarians. La forte tendance à l'augmentation de réchauffement en Arctique cause des ravages dans nos écosystèmes. Elle aura un impact profond sur la vie et les moyens de subsistance des peuples nordiques. Le réchauffement de l'Arctique et la fonte des glaces de mer auront un effet sur les conditions météorologiques de toutes les régions des eaux arctiques du Canada et du monde. We will see more extreme weather, including flooding, heat waves, and drought. It's important to note that less Arctic ice means that the uncovered Arctic waters will warm exponentially faster from the sun's rays, melting more ice and raising water levels to disastrous, uh, to disastrous results. La hausse des températures en Arctique est une grande préoccupation des habitants du Nord. Les mammifères ont eu à changer leurs habitudes alimentaires et leurs mouvements migratoires. Cela a un effet énorme sur les communautés du Nord, dont la survie dépend de la chasse. Northern communities also depend on frozen ground for the land transport of food and the necessities of life for much of the year. If we ignore the warming trend now, the impacts will be far-reaching and irreversible. An emergency plan is needed for all aspects of Northern life, but Canada doesn't have one. We are facing an environmental crisis that goes beyond a warning of the impact on our northern communities. The situation is dire and has consequences for our entire planet. We cannot ignore the facts anymore. Mr. Speaker, this is not the first time I have requested an emergency debate on this issue. And since I first raised it in 2012, things have deteriorated even further. The NDP has tried to bring this issue forward at committee for urgent study, but to no avail. We are facing an emergency situation. We are witnessing unprecedented threats to the lives and livelihoods of our northern peoples, to our coastal communities, to our economy, our security, and our way of life. This matter cannot be ignored any further and deserves to be signaled out as an emergency. We need to have a thoughtful discussion in the House and devise a plan for the future. We must include Canadians in the conversation, as this will not only impact us, but future generations. There is no time to waste. Our country needs a plan. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. I thank the Honourable Member for raising this matter. And, uh, well, it, uh, it's obvious it's of great concern to the member. I don't know that it meets the test in the standing orders for an emergency debate.